Life is a game. And in the game, you can either be a player or be a toy. And girls, in this game, we're the toys. Ho, oh, slack, scat, harsh, right? I know. Sad to say that these are the titles females get in society these days. It's even more frustrating when it bears no truth. Perception bursts deception. And in this game, there is a high volume of deceivers. I say this not to entice you, but to open your eyes to the truth that is usually silenced. Women are judged on their appearance rather than their internal character. You see, what I don't get is if a girl takes certain action, she gets a bad title. But if a boy does the same, oh, he's the man. Dig out them sugar. They'll walk up to him and say, my dog, get in there. And to be honest, I'm sick of it. Oh my God, I'm sick of it. Let me tell you something. I looked in a dictionary to look up the definition of a woman and a man. And here's what I found. A female human being and a male human being. Human beings is something that both sexes are. So why the different judgments and why the different perceptions? Let me ask you a question and I want you guys to really think about it. What makes your mother so, so special? Loving, caring, independent, courageous, the list goes on, so why? Why is this not what we hear or celebrate in society today? Let me tell you a story about a girl. This girl goes to school and is well known around the school. But what if I told you that this girl gets judged nearly every day because she gets along with the boys better than the girls? What if I told you that others from local schools approach this girl, victimizing her, telling her she's once again a slag, and she's always chasing after the boys? <clears throat> this girl is the only girl in her school who's in all top sets, even to the point where she may be the only girl in the class. And because of this, she was accused of, mm -mm, she was accused of pretending to be smart just so she could spend more time with the boys. Isn't it funny oh, how she is not celebrated for her intelligence, but she's rather judged? And what if I told you guys that that girl is me and I will no longer be victimized by sexism? We need to put an end to this and say no to judgment and no to sexism. So girls, I want you to remember that life is a game, but don't be the toy. It takes two to have fun, so join in and play with the boys. Thank you.